The year was 1998. I was on a weekend layover in L.A. and, well, you know, every great couple has a cute story about how they met. We were no different. She was walking her dog, Muffin. The night before, I'd been thrown through a car windshield at 50 miles an hour and left for dead. Boy, that little Muffin sure liked to lick dried blood off her face. That charming April convinced an off-duty and possibly drunk ambulance driver to pick me up. And I was glad she did. You're hot. You want to have dinner tonight? <laughs> I'll pick you up at 7, all right? <laughs> all right? So I'm all bandaged up, right? And I look her right in the eye and I say, God, you're hot. You want to have dinner tonight? Um, Larry. Hello, story has interrupted us, mother. No, but she's... Slut cheese? Really, Nathan? Like your age, not your wiener leg. Okay. Anyway. We went to one of those restaurants where they cook everything at the table. We were given a truly authentic Japanese experience by Chef Hiro Obata, Garcia Gonzalez de San Fernando. I think it may have been his first day. So, uh, you grew up in L.A.? Mm hmm. Well, actually, in the suburbs. Really? Me too. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it, you know? Um, everything felt so safe. You could ride a bike to a friend's house without your parents being all worried about you. Totally. <laughs> totally. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what made you decide that you wanted to fly? Well, let's just say I wanted to escape the pain of a father's abandonment. I wanted to escape the pain of a father's abandonment. Thank you. I didn't think I could say that by myself. <laughs> huh. <laughs> it's crazy. So do you believe in fate? Sure. Do you? How could I not? I mean, every day I walk Muffin down Elm Street. Today I went down Maple. And there you were, unconscious on somebody's lawn. Mm. <laughs> and usually I take a taxi back to my hotel room, but last night I accepted a ride from a complete stranger who reeked of alcohol and could barely stand up straight. And if that hadn't happened, we would have never met. I know. <laughs> It's like that drunk driver was an angel, sent down to watch over me. 